tonight, as Pride Month comes to a close, Wish TV is highlighting the impact of domestic violence on the LGBTQ plus community. A state nonprofit says the rate of problems is higher within the community. News 8's Brittany Noble joins us now. Who'd you get a chance to talk with and what they say? Well, I spoke with the Indiana Coalition Against Domestic Violence. They say that domestic violence is an issue for everyone, especially people who identify as queer. The LGBTQIA plus community sees rates of violent crime that are higher than they would be in a straight relationship. Maggie Moore works for the Indiana Coalition Against Domestic Violence. She's familiar with stories of people impacted by interpersonal violence. Using the wrong pronouns purposefully or outing somebody that isn't ready to be out yet. Those are both tactics or behaviors that some people will use that are specific to that community. Stalking at work or online can be a red flag that your relationship is in danger. Over half of the LGBTQ community uh, nationally has been victim of harassments, threats, um, stalking, other things like that online. Um, that's half of the community, and it's one in three women have also experienced this. So these are very, very real problems, and they do affect this community differently. The coalition is working to create a world where all people can engage in healthy relationships, starting with local youth. We created a youth council um, to bring together a representative group of youth from high schools across the state um, to really give them a chance to look at the conditions that underlie interpersonal violence. So the coalition wants you to know that help is available 24 hours a day. We do have information about domestic violence on our website. I'm Brittany Noble reporting for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.